Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi. I don't see any, anyone yet, so. Hi. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> hey, Betty. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Sheila. trying to clear the area a little bit. Hey y'all, Jalisa, I am making oxtails for the last time this year. <laughs> We're doing oxtails, but today I'm going to mm -hmm. do oxtail stew. I just had a taste for them in like a tomato base um, with like some stewed tomatoes, some um, I'm going to do potatoes, carrots. I don't know. I just had a taste for it, y'all. Hey. Hey, Danae. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up while people are coming in. We can get them uh, rinsed off. I usually get my oxtails from um, either Kroger or Walmart. So it's the Irumba oxtail. But it's probably more than one tail because I have like three packs. So I'm going to open these up. I do rinse my meat off, but that's your choice. <laughs> I'm going to rinse them off. Aw, thank you, Ezzy. And it, it, won't, it won't take me long. I just wanted to show you all how I'm, another way that I'm doing them. Each time that I've come on and did the oxtails, I did them differently. I didn't do them the same way each time. So that's the reason. Oh, you have oxtails too? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to rinse them off. I didn't open them yet. I wanted you all to see the packaging. These were pretty reasonable. That's why I bought them. And you get a lot of them. Let's see. That pack had one, two, three, four. A little small one. That's definitely not a whole tail. They jipping people, y'all, with these little packages of uh, oxtails. <laughs> um, what am I gonna make with the oxtails? I have some cabbage. I didn't buy cabbage. I just left the store, y'all. I think I'm gonna do. I was gonna do cabbage, but I think I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know. I have a taste for some okra or asparagus, so. I'm kind of indecided. Hey, hey, Deetra. Peyton, honey, I left Nashville some months ago. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a minute. Hey, Brittany from Dayton. Hi, Marie. Hi, Anessa. So I'm gonna rinse these off real quick. Bloody, y'all. They were bloody, honey. Bloody, bloody, bloody. All right. So I'm going to season them and put them to the side while I get my carrots and everything together and my celery. Let's see. I'm doing a tomato base. So... I'm gonna use some of my garlic. I don't know. I've never made my oxtails with a tomato with a tomato base. What you say, sweetie? Find a meat market, the oxtail cheaper. Tonia, I have to find one. I've been looking for one here in Huntsville, but I have yet to find a meat market that actually sells the tail that you can have it cut up. Uh, growing up in St. Louis, we have the Soulard Market where we can go down and pick out the tail, but I have not found one here in Huntsville yet. 
So if y'all know of anyone in my area, let me know because I would definitely would prefer to do it that way than the way that I've been doing. Nothing against these people, but it's just the way I grew up buying my oxtail. You get to pick out your tail. Hey, watching from Florida. Okay, I just wanna, I usually marinate my meat, but I did not this time because I just took them out the freezer like last night and then I put them in the refrigerator to thaw out overnight. So, yep, a sister was not on top of her game like I should have been. Let's see. Because of the taste that I'm going for y'all, I'm gonna do a little bit of my, ooh, I can use my uh, Louisiana soul. Hold on, y'all. I have to wipe my nose. I'm so sorry. Let me see. My nose is trying to run. We can't have that. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of my Creole. Wait a minute. It's one on Meridian Street. Pamela, is that here in um, Huntsville, Alabama? Because I need to definitely find one. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put a little Creole seasoning, y'all. And a little bit of my Louisiana Soul. If you have not tried Mike's Louisiana Soul, you need to try it. Uh, Mike Higginbottom, he usually advertises it. Sorry, Mike, I forgot your site. I think it's lasoul.com, if I'm not mistaken. LA Soul. So I'm going to use... This is a really good all-purpose as well. So I'm using my Louisiana Soul. I'm using my garlic and onion, and I'm gonna use some of my Creole. I use just a little bit of Worcestershire. So we're gonna set these aside. And we are going to cut up our celery. Hey. I like them too. I I uh I'm not. I don't love oxtail, but I I do like them a whole whole lot. They are very very good. And I'm starting my um my Daniel's fast and my weight loss group on Tuesday or Wednesday. I think we're starting Wednesday. So we're starting January second. So I said, let me get my oxtail in before we start our fast. So I got some carrots. I'm gonna put some carrots in there. I have stewed tomato I'm going to put in there. I have my tomato paste, which we'll add all that stuff in later. I do have to cut my onion and my celery, so we're going to do that. Chastity, I think that site is LA Soul. He'll come in here at some point and post it, but I think it's LASoul.com. I'm just not 100% sure about his site right now. Hi, Mary. Bobby, I usually get my seasonings. If I show you all a seasoning, I got it from Walmart nine times out of ten. The LA Soul, Louisiana Soul, excuse me. Mike has a site for that. Oh, yes, Brandy. I did some in brown gravy. But I have just been craving this like tomato base with my oxtails. And I've never done it before, y'all. So we finna see how this gonna turn out. <laughs> What are you making? I'm making oxtail myrtle. Hey, Casey. Hey, Crystal. All right, so I need my onions, so I'm going to cut it up. I need something to put it in. We're going to cut up our onion and celery in, in here so we can have it. This won't take long. This is just my video to show you all how I'm putting them on, and then I'll come back. You all know I'll come back and show you all the finished product of the oxtail. You have to let them cook. Um, you need to give them at least three to four and a half hours <laughs> to cook because you want them to be good. You want them to be tender. And if you want them falling off the bone, a good four to four and a half hours to get them there. It just all depends on what you like. I always tell you all that. It's all about what you like. I cook how I like. Y'all cook how you like. And we everybody going to be happy. All right. So, I know I'm going to cook mine more than three hours. I do know that. Because 
because I want them to be nice and tender. Mm. Good Lord, have mercy. All right, I'm going to use that whole onion. I love onion. You don't need the whole onion. I just love onions. I love onions. I love mushrooms. I love bell peppers. Um, I love vegetables, period. I'm a vegetable person. I don't really care for celery, but I want it in my stew today. And I'm going to add some potatoes, but we're going to add the potatoes in later on. We don't need the potatoes right now. We don't need mushy potato, right? No mushy, no mushy. <laughs> okay. So I rinsed off the outside of my celery, but y'all know celery is so freaking dirty. So make sure y'all rinse y'all vegetables off. You don't want to be eating all that dirt, you know. Hey, Crystal, thanks for joining us. So I think about three of these should be good, maybe. Trying to get a good one, y'all. That's a good one. I mean, look at all of that filth. How do people eat that? You know, you got to clean that stuff out, honey. Oh, almost dropped, see? Fumble, but I caught it. All right, I'm going to rinse my celery off. I think my finger's kind of wet and my board. Get our celery nice and clean. All right, we're not eating dirt in 2019, amen. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these. Yeah, I don't, girl, I don't normally use. Uh, I don't usually cook with celery unless I'm making like a stew or a soup. Hey, Evelyn, how do I order? Oh, baby, the cookbook, I'll have, um, I'm definitely going to let you know. I will let you all know. I'll keep you updated. I haven't received my book yet. I still have to get my copy to proofread it, but I'll let you know. <laughs> Patricia, you so silly, girl. <laughs> It is funny to see people talking like, yeah, girl, let me tell you about what happened. You know, like, no, don't cut me. Man, I'm putting cheesecake. Oh, wow. I'm glad that it was good, Eva. I'm trying to think, did I put that in the cookbook? It's so many recipes in my cookbook. I just was putting everything in there, y'all. Everything. So it's it's a lot of different things in there, but I think I'm going to come up with a, um, with a uh, breakfast cookbook. I think I'm going to do one for breakfast. So how do I want to cook my cut my celery off? I think I'm gonna go. Whoop. I'm gonna cut them this way. Don't have nothing to put them in. All right. Hey Eli. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. I appreciate it, girl. I'm working this beauty because you know it passed away. Beauty is only. In deep and it don't last forever, do it? <laughs> so y'all better work it while you got it, honey. I plan to be old one day and I know I ain't gonna look the same. Yeah, I am gonna brown them, Chrissy. I do like to brown them. I really, really do. So we are gonna do that. I am gonna keep that piece of celery. What are you all making for dinner today? Thank you, Deborah. Hey, Latoya. I actually wanted some, um, well, I want the oxtails too, because like I said, when the fast start, I'm going to wish I had an ate them, but, uh, and I won't be able to have any until after the 22nd sometimes. So, which is fine. Hey, from India. Oh, uh, thank you, Antoinette. It's a blessing. I was sharing with my daughter this morning. I used to hate the sound of my voice. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I used to hate how I talk. And because everybody would say, you sound funny, you talk funny, but they didn't say whether it was a bad or good thing. I, people would just always say, you talk different, you talk funny. But I interpreted that as something negative. So for a long time, I hated my voice. I hated the way I sound. And now that's the main thing people say they love about me. They love to hear me talk. They love my voice. So I guess it was never a bad thing, but the way people would say it, they'd be like, you talk funny. Where are you from? <laughs> Like, I don't know, you know, <laughs> but you know, it's a blessing, you know, it turned out to be a good thing. 
Now I have embraced my voice, so I don't want y'all to think I still hate it, because I don't. But, you know, it is my voice, so I have to listen to myself talk. <laughs> Alright, y'all know if it was up to me, I'd do them little quick three-minute videos and be like, hey, y'all, blue, put the oxtail in here, blue, do that, blue, it's over. Blue, eat. Okay. But, I made a commitment that I'm going to give y'all more lives in 2019. Um, I am going to go live more starting after my fast. I will do that. All right, y'all. I'm going to cut up some of these carrots and then we'll uh, start. We just going to, you know, cook, you know, saute our vegetables. We're going to brown our oxtails, y'all. Then I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to put them on. Then we're going to cut the live and I'll be back to show you the finished product and let you know how long I cooked them. Uh, thank you, Ambria. Hey, is it Cheryl's? Oh, Delphi, if you missed, honey, the the group is closed. I had to close it. What happened to my scissors? Like, y'all, did somebody take my scissors? Did somebody walk in? I know I'm not crazy. And I just had them scissors, y'all. Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> um... The weight loss group is closed. I have to have a deadline on it because we, we give a lot of information out. It's very informational. So um, we can't just let people keep coming in at any time they get ready or whatever um, after the deadline because it creates a whole bunch of, you know, because we've already shared certain things and people are like, what? Wait a minute. What's going on? So it's better to start. We all start together. All right, Leanne, we about to get started. It ain't going to take us, but let me see. I'm not using all of these carrots. I'm going to cut a few of these and we're going to keep it moving. I don't want to leave them like that. Matter of fact, I'm going to put them in here. Hi, Ashley from Nashville. Hey, LaTanya. Ashley, we are fasting for uh, a few things. I mean, everyone has their own spiritual. It's a spiritual reason. Spiritual reasons. So it's a um, summer fasting for weight loss because it is something that um, will help you lose weight. Summer fasting for spiritual reasons, and others are fasting um, for health reasons. Fasting can improve your health. So. And we're doing the Daniels fast, so just so I can say that. So all you do is eat vegetables and drink water. Vegetables and water, honey. Vegetables and water. <laughs> Aw, good, Kimberly. Yeah, girl, it's, it's going to be some hours, honey. If you go going to church, it'll be done by the time you get home. <laughs> so I don't know how many of y'all cook your oxtails in a crock pot, but hey, Talera. But uh, what Jaquita say? She said she been dreaming about oxtails. Girl, I didn't interrupt your dream, honey. I'm here. Okay. I think that's enough carrots. All right. Let's start a stewing. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Now, I do have... um. I have other videos showing how I make my oxtails, but this is a different way. So, just so you all know. What did somebody say about Christmas? I made your oxtails for Christmas in the crock pot. Okay, Tracy, I don't normally do them in the crock pot. Did I make them in the crock pot before on here? I don't even know. But it's beneficial because, you know, at least with the crock pot, you ain't got to sit there and watch them and all that good stuff. All right, so if you just came in, here is our oxtail that we seasoned. That one like it's lacking some seasoning. We're going to add a little more on that one right there, honey. But it's going to be fine because it's going to be in the tomato base. We're also going to season our sauce. So we're not they're not going to be without. This is just for the browning purposes. I'm going to have to bring y'all closer into the pot. Let me bring y'all up over here. Y'all know the routine because I got to be able to see what y'all talking about. So I'll bring y'all up on here. Hey, 
Okay, Krista, thank you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna bring y'all over. Oop. Sorry. Sorry. Well, you know what? The pot is not even on yet, so let's turn it on. Cast iron, oh, y'all got this cast iron Dutch. It is so cute, don't y'all like this? Uh, the latest oxtails I made, I think I made in this Dutch. It's real cute. It's by Lodge. Um, got it at Walmart. I think it was like $35, but good investment. As long as you take care of your cast iron, good investment. So we're gonna let our pot get hot. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, your, your favorite country cook. I know I talk country, don't I? All right, let's get, hopefully y'all can see. You may have to move your comments so you can actually see in the pot. But sometimes the comments are one of the best parts, ain't it, y'all? Okay. <laughs> I was joking. All right, y'all. So, in our little pot here, I'm going to add some oil. And I'm going to add a little butter. If I can find my butter. Butter makes it better. I don't care what nobody say. Butter is amazing. Real butter, that is. I don't know about that other stuff. I don't even buy that other stuff in the tub, y'all, because I don't know about it. So we're going to add some butter. Mm. I got people texting me and calling me, y'all. I'm sorry about that. Let me see. Oh, that's one of my peoples from my cooking page. Y'all see it right there popped up. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, I'll respond back. I don't know who it is. When y'all text me, it doesn't. It only shows me your phone number. It doesn't say your name. So make sure y'all say y'all name. I get a ton of texts and y'all just be, Hey, Aisha, what you doing? I'll be like, who is this? <laughs> Can you tell me your name? <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, we're going to start putting them in. I'm just going to brown them for a little bit. You don't have to do the browning part. Please keep that in mind. So if you want to skip and do the saute of your veggies, you can skip right past this step. Okay. Thank you, Nikki. Hi, Bettina. Hey, Monty. Monty. Hi, Veronica from Philadelphia. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're just browning them a little bit on each side. But Tina, they're good. They are kind they are fatty. Um what can I say about the oxtail? It's beef. Uh they're a little on the expensive side, depending on where you live, but I think anywhere you live they're kind of costly. Because it's a it's a higher quality meat, but they're worth the try. You can get just one little package and try them out to see if you like them. Yeah, Karen, they good. Hey, Mary. Who is that? Hey, it should be today. Amber, when I when I wash it, I just dry it right away. Don't let your cast iron air dry. Go ahead and dry it with a paper towel or a towel, cloth towel. And then some people like to oil their skillet, which you can. I don't necessarily have to do that. Mine usually does pretty good. Alright, just want to turn them over. Kind of let them brown on each side. These are some bigger oxtails. My last oxtails were this big, honey. I promise you they won. We're just locking in some of that flavor. So let them get brown. Put them. Never had them, but always wanted to try them. Okay, auntie. Is it auntie? Yeah, it should be. These are some good ones. Aw, thank you, Pastor Val. 
I definitely plan on keeping on, keeping on, honey. I love what I do. God has really blessed me. I'm just going to turn them on the side. Hopefully it's not too much uh, thing for y'all so y'all can see. So once you brown them on each side, we're going to take them out. So just get them. You can go browner if you want. That is totally up to you. Or you don't have to brown them at all. So do whatever, you know, works better for you. Oh yeah, Cheryl. Hi, Ricardo, Yolanda's husband. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Tina. Alicia, we are making oxtail in a tomato-based sauce. So I'm just browning them for a second. It'll be over in a minute, y'all. <laughs> All this steam. I know y'all like, what in the heck is going on in that pot, honey? Alright. Mm, mm, mm. Smells good. We're going to brown, I mean, I'll saute our veggies in just a second. Yes, Tiz, girl. Get them out the freezer, girl. Get them out the freezer. <laughs> what they still doing in the freezer, honey? <laughs> Y'all, that thing is coming, honey. All right, we're going to add a little more oil. You keep all that good stuff in your pot. You want to keep all that down there. I'm going to add a little more butter. I'm going to add our onion. And our celery and carrots. KB, the mm -hmm. phone is not on the stove, sweetie. <laughs> but thanks for your concern. It's not on the stove. Hi, Tina. We're doing oxtail soup. All right, and with my veggies, I'm going to add in my tomato paste. I'm going to add in two of these. We are going to need some water or beef broth. I'm going to use water because I'm going to use my beef base. Oh yeah, Miss Diamond. That sounds good too. beef face mm -hmm. for my flavor. Oh, 
Oh, wow, Karen, I didn't know that. Thank you, Cheryl's. Thank you all that are concerned about my phone. So I'm going to add these and I am going to add a little bit more to my, of my water. Hey, Allie. Yeah, Miss Diamond, I have a friend who is um, Jamaican and he makes them as well, honey. Mm, 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 mm. So I don't want a whole, whole lot of my liquid, so I'm going to add in a little more. And I'm going to cook them like on a medium heat for a little bit. I've just been really wanting this, y'all, and this tomato base. Thank you. All right, I'm going to pick the phone up so y'all can see. My phone is not, um, I guess I can't really show y'all because y'all don't know my kitchen, but the phone is not on the stove. <laughs> this is my countertop that y'all are sitting on. So I'm going to put the rest of these in here. I'm going to add some more of my liquid and I'm going to cover it and let it cook. I'm going to add in my stewed tomatoes as well. And y'all know I'm going to show y'all when they're done. So we just need a little bit more liquid. I don't like to have a whole, whole lot. Okay, so how much water was that? So in this pot... That was six cups of water because I used three of those cups. And when you're cooking them on the stove, they are going to cook down some. So thank you. Is there a bone? I can tell. Yeah, there is a bone in the middle. So I'm going to put these in here. And then I'm also going to add in some potatoes. But this like when they're like maybe about 30 minutes from being done. I'm gonna cut some small potatoes. Yeah, it's good. And if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna brown your oxtail first, you don't have to. All you have to do is, you know, once you saute your veggies, then go ahead and add your oxtails in with your liquids. And then I have a top here that I'm going to add to my pot. So I'm gonna let this cook on a medium heat and then I'll come back. Let me show you all one more time before we go. Sorry. Why? <coughs> Sorry, hold on y'all. I gotta wipe the camera off. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna let them cook and I'll come back and show you all the finished product. It's gonna be good. Um, just always keep in mind, you can always tweak things the way you like it. So just make it the way that you like it. If you want more tomato paste, if you want more whatever, you know, you add what you want to yours and everything going to be great. <laughs> so I'll come back and show you how to finish product. I'm not all the way sure about my vegetable yet, but likely I will eat this with some rice <laughs> because I love rice. So... I'll come back and show you all. Yep, Sheila, I was just going to say that. Lisa, I'm going to cook them for three to three, probably three and a half to four hours. Three and a half to four hours. So I have my timer here that I'll uh, set. I do an hour and a half at a time. So in an hour and a half, I'll come back and check them. Um, as long as your stove is at a good temperature, you don't have to sit and watch them. They're not boiling, so they're not going to cook out. The water won't cook out, so... Yeah, Queen, I agree. I usually do mine on the stove. I don't even remember doing any in the crock pot, but I guess I may have a video from like a long time ago when I did some in the crock pot. 
because normally I don't use a crock pot. I use celery, carrots, and onions. So celery, carrots, and onions. So, right, Kathy. I always encourage people to cook to taste because just because I say use this or that, I always encourage though. If it's something potent and strong, I'm going to tell you, only add half of it. Even in my cookbook, I, I say that. Even in my instructions, I say add <laughs> one tablespoon first and then taste it because my taste may be, you know, I may like it more stronger than you. So, I always encourage people, add a little bit of this or that first, especially if it's something new you're trying and then you will see the flavor and then you can add more like any seasoning like this is a really good all-purpose but you may not like a whole lot i may like a whole lot so you know you add a little bit and then you taste it yeah she uh is it shalina that's a good idea too to put them in the oven so there's all kinds of ways we can we can do it <laughs> that's that's for sure i thought about putting mine in the oven too um, ivory, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about if I want to do all of that because I'm still working out even my shipping materials So with the cookbook. But as soon as I know, I will let you know. I'll have the cookbooks, Lachey. But I have to have them added to my site and all this. I still have to proofread the hard copy that they're going to send me. So, And they were closed over the holiday season. They actually won't be open until... But they have my cookbook. They're printing it. But I probably won't get it until like the first week in January. I should have it back from them. So, <laughs> Oh, thanks, Keisha. Girl, I just cook from my soul. I'm trying to tell y'all. My grandmother. My grandmother. The one I talk about who, you know, she was an awesome cook. But I was so young when I was, you know, with her that, you know, I can't say I remember all of this stuff that, you know, or how to cook, but I just cook how I feel. You know? I just be like, oh, I want to taste this today. And I just cook it the way I imagine it or want to taste it. So, oh, that sounds good, Michelle. Butter beans added on. Hey, Leandra. All right, y'all. So I'll be back to show you all the finished product. Um, Yeah, I have my timer set. So, and man, this is going to be good. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I <laughs> this is what I wanted. <laughs> Thanks, Lache. It's nothing like cooking what you want, honey. It's nothing like that. Being able to go into the kitchen and cook exactly what you want and it tastes exactly how you wanted it to taste. That's why when I taste my food, I be like that, y'all. It is so good. <laughs> There's so much tied to my food when it's done. I sit down and I enjoy it. I'm telling you. <laughs> It'd be funny to me when I play my videos back at the end. I was like, that was really good, huh? Because, honey, I be cracking myself up. <laughs> oh, yeah, red potatoes. Pear cake, no chastity. I don't know how to make pear cake. No, can, uh, can Raisha, I'm cooking them on a, they're on medium right now, so... I'm going to see what happens once they, if it's going to be like, it's not going to be a rumbling boil, I know that, but I want to kind of see what that boil is, and that just kind of comes, you know, with what you're cooking. I know how I want them to cook, so I have to wait and see what happens on medium, and if I have to adjust it to a lower temperature, then I will, because I don't want it to be boiling, you know, like that. Oh, yes, Virginia. That's, that seasoning's good. You're welcome, Marie. Felicia, is it Felicia? You say you have a problem with seasoning your food? What issue do you have? That's right, Kimberly. I cook with love. I cook with love. <laughs> what you say? You gonna need a shirt that says yes, honey. Girl, that... <laughs> All right. Well, Susie, I'm gonna use white potatoes. I'm gonna use white potatoes. So, thank you, Deborah. I am believing God for a new house and right now I'm like in a condo so I want to be in a house so when I get my house I'm gonna make sure that my setup is different so that I can actually be this way talking to y'all I want an island with my gas stove in the middle that's what I, I want and I gotta have a gas stove I hate these flat top electric stove I hate electric stoves <sighs> but I'm grateful for a stove 
I am grateful for a stove, but I love gas stoves. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, I'm doing uh, oxtails and a red base, uh, tomato base. Thank you, Maddie. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Ivory. Catalina, no, they don't taste like neck bone. Not to me. I don't know if somebody else may can tell you what they taste like. They don't taste like neck bones to me. Yeah, Kathy, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. These stoves. But you know, hey, it's it's temporary. And I that's the thing that I have to keep in mind. Everything is temporary. And you know, especially when you're walking with the Lord, these things are temporary things either way. And he's going to bless me with what I want. He's going to bless me with a gas stove. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm just anticipating my blessings. So I know it's coming. Amen. I believe it's coming. So it's temporary. <laughs> you can get through better when you know stuff is temporary. You, everything is temporary. Everything we face in life is temporary, honey. It's temporary. So it helps you to better get through things. Yes, Amber. I'm excited. Sha, what is it, Sharonda? Sharonda agrees. They do not taste like neck bones. <laughs> oh, Shanta. Thank you, Phyllis. Jessica, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what to tell you these oxtails taste like. What do they taste like, y'all? They taste like, um... I can't think of something that I can compare them to, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. Thank you, Ralph. I don't even know what to compare them to. Jay Martez, I love green bell pepper. So if I wasn't making like a stewish, then ooh, that looks good, y'all. So this is perfect how it's going. If I wasn't doing like a stewish, then um, then yeah, I would do bell pepper. I mean, you can always add bell bell pepper. I mean, nothing that I do is what it's got to be. You know, I always encourage creativity and cook how you want in your kitchen, honey. I'll taste your food <laughs> as long as you clean. <laughs> I'll taste it. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> what Marie say, I don't know. They just good. They are. They're just, they're different. I can't, I don't know what to say that they taste like. So <laughs> a bowl of goodness. <laughs> They do have their own taste. I have to agree with that. They have their own taste. But they're worth the try. You won't be, I don't think you will be sorry. If you like beef, then I don't think you will be sorry if you spent a couple of extra dollars and got a pack and just cooked it and tried it. Because what's the worst that could happen? If you don't like it, at least now you know you don't like it. But if you don't ever try it, then you just ain't going to ever know. <laughs> and you could be missing out, honey. Yeah, just just give them a try. Meatloaf sound good, Samantha. Kimberly, true. Tastes like soft butter beef. Mm. Roast mm -hmm. beef. That's a good stew meat. Yeah, that I think we're getting close. Uh, only it's more tender. Um, similar to stew meat. I have to agree with that one. Similar to stew meat or roast beefish, kind of in between the two, but with a more <sighs> that's all I can do it's just it's just better but better so think stew meat mm -hmm. in between roast beef but better how about that yeah yes yes so I think we found a solution see it helps when we put more minds together yep Angelica true hey Valerie Right, Stephanie. <laughs> they are good. We all agree, though. They're good. I haven't seen one person yet say they're gross. They're disgusting. They're awful. I haven't seen one comment. So everyone does agree that they're good. Uh, Samantha, I actually, I was born in Tallahassee, Florida, but I grew up, spent most of my life in St. Louis, Missouri. And then I went back to Tallahassee as an adult, but I only stayed a couple years and then went back to St. Louis. And now I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. <clears throat> the seasoning for the taste to be. Yes, it matters, Maddie. Um, the seasonings do matter. Now, it doesn't have to be 
my seasonings, but you have to have a good combination of seasoning for your oxtails for them to turn out good. I will say that. So I always share my seasonings for the most part, but you can use whatever, whatever. I would just recommend you get a good all purpose. If you don't know, it, you know, start off with some Worcestershire seasoning and a good all purpose. You know, if you don't want to use, you know, so thank you, Lynn. <laughs> So you don't have to use these, but honey, yes, the seasonings do matter. <laughs> seasonings do matter. Five people can cook the same dish with different seasonings, and and they can all be amazing, but you know, or not. You know, the seasonings do matter. <laughs> do I know any what? Any Leonard's? And, no, I. You know, I've lived in Huntsville now, going on going on my sixth year, but I don't. I only go to church and to the grocery store. So unless you work at Walmart <laughs> or Kroger or the thrift store or, or you go to my church, you know, how am I going to get married like this, y'all? So, uh, yeah, I don't know anybody unless you go to my church, work at Walmart, at the thrift store or Kroger. I am such a homebody. I'm at home. And people are crazy in the streets, so I pretty much stay at home. So, hold on, y'all. I think it's boiling a little too much. Yeah, see, this is too high. I'm going to show y'all. We don't want it this high, y'all. Boiling too high. I don't want it this high, so I'm going to turn it down. Now, this is doing too much. So, I'm going to turn my heat down. So, that's why I was saying that's why I always stay in the kitchen. When I put something on the stove, especially that I want to cook down, I have to wait until it does what it gets to the highest point of its heat. So, then I can, because if you walk away from the kitchen, now if I would have walked out of here and this would have been doing this, I could have possibly burnt my food. When I came back in an hour, it would have been, it could have been a hot mess. So, uh, make sure you stay in the kitchen <laughs> until it, you know, now it's at the highest heat. It's going to be in this cast iron. That's too high. So, we went down. I went down to a number three. So, but I'm going to show you all, you know. Yeah, Cheryl's. I just, you know, I'm a, I'm a just a home cook, but I've been cooking a long time. So, all I want to do is share with people what, I, what I've learned. You know, and what I know and what I continue to learn. Yeah, Des, we've already put them on the stove. But I'm going to show the outcome. Aww. Thank you, Amanda. I will, honey. I'm going to continue to, to spread the word. And I just love Jesus. Y'all know that about me. I love the Lord. Yeshua. I love Jesus. And I'm not ashamed. My page is dedicated to Jesus. Y'all know that. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. What's New Year's Day menu? I have no idea. Mm. <sighs> Simply because I'm starting my fast Tuesday. It's going to be something that... I don't know. It's going to be something that... I'm not going to be able to have for a while. <laughs> Some kind of meat. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Amber. I'm sorry I never say hey back to you. It's not that I'm ignoring you. I promise. Hey, Keith. I'm making oxtails in a... Um, oxtails in a... Uh, red Bay sauce. I can show you real quick. So. Whoop, sorry. They still got to go down some more. But, yeah, I just did a tomato base today instead of gravy or, you know. Yes, honey, them jerk oxtails is the bomb. I think that was the first oxtail video I did. I did jerk oxtails. Thank you, honey, Mike. Look, he's somebody ready to marry me. <laughs> yes, he is, Donald. God is good. I'm going to do this until he until he take me on home. I promise you that. Until he say otherwise, 
I'm going to continue to do what I do. Um, I read the Daniel's fast is a fast that Daniel in the Bible, if you read the book of Daniel, he went on a fast. He didn't want to um, drink the wine and eat the foods that the other people in the kingdom were eating. And uh, he, uh, he got the king to allow him to do this. Uh, it was 10 days, though, for Daniel, where he only uh, drank water and ate vegetables. And the other people were eating meat and they were drinking wine. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> they, the appearance, he was like, well, oh, somebody was texting me. He was saying, well, if in 10 days um, my appearance doesn't look better or if I'm not stronger than the other men, then we'll do away with, you know, his idea. But in the 10, within, after those 10 days, Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, uh, they were all stronger and their skin looked better. They just were healthier than the other men. So <clears throat> that's where the Daniel fast came from. So you just had to go read the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel itself is amazing. I mean, the word of God is amazing. It's, it's exciting, but it's not exciting until you are filled with his spirit. And then it becomes exciting when you're not filled with his spirit. It's kind of boring. And you're just like, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to read about that. I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> I mean, trust me, I know, because I've been on both sides, so. Oh, yeah, Kathy, amen. Gotta be equally yoked, honey. Gotta be equally yoked. How good are oxtails? I've never ate them. Eddie, please try them. Please try them. <laughs> Hi, Anaya. Shamika, tell her I said hello. Thank you for watching. And I thank God for that because I have something that everybody can watch. Whether you're young, old, the meek and the bold. <laughs> you know, so that's a blessing too. I wasn't thinking about children when I started cooking, but it's a blessing that kids can watch me. We don't do nothing that kids can't watch. <laughs> so, trying to see y'all something, trying to spill over. Okay. I'm going to go down a little bit more. Which is that I just want everyone else to know. Amen, Ivory. Yes, Cynthia, it's a good fast. Hi, Margaret. Thank you. Praise God. <laughs> glad you're here. Yes, Hodges. I'm glad you're in on with us on the fast. We have a lot of people that are excited about this Daniel's fast. So next time you all will probably start the group again. It's January, February, March. I'm thinking March. God has me doing it every couple of months to um however long he tell me to do it i'm gonna do it so let me not speak ahead i just know he said go for january so we're going for january uh so that's all i know right now so we'll move forward with the with the spirit with the holy spirit if he say march we'll go march but i think right now we just got to get through january <laughs> hey sammy oh good felicia Yvonne, I still have to cook. I've been, I've done many fasts, honey. When you, whew, when you have lived the life I've lived and you have needed God the way I've needed him, honey, I can cook a T-bone steak and be on a fast and will not lick my finger, but will wash my hands because that's how desperate I have been for the things of God. So, honey, I'm going to cook for these kids on the fast and keep it moving. Um, we are going to uh, do some cook-alongs in the group for some Daniel's Fast recipes. There are a lot of recipes that you can do on the Daniel's Fast. I personally don't do them. I just stick to vegetables and water because food is not the focus on the fast for me. But uh, I made a promise to the group we're gonna cook some, uh, do some recipes for the Daniel's Fast. So I'll still cook on my page. I'm not gonna be on here as much. I'm not even gonna lie because I'm just not. I do have a day set aside to come live on here so that I can cook with you all for whatever my kids decide they want for to eat that day. And then I have another day of the week that I'll be cooking live in the weight loss group. <clears throat> so God is good, y'all. He about to do some amazing things. So even if you're not in a group, I uh, will encourage you to give him the first fruits of your time for 2019 and see what God has in store, what he wants to do. And your life for 2019, y'all. Angelique, my body feels amazing when I fast. Because you're not putting all that stuff in it. All the processed foods, all the meats. 
I love me. I'm not going to say I'll never be a vegetarian, but that is not on my agenda. You know, God would have to tell me himself. Um, but I do notice a difference in my body when I'm on a Daniel's fast or when I'm doing just a complete fast or a water fast. It's something about eating certain foods or not eating certain, or rather not eating certain things because they're not good for us. You know, people want to say, don't eat this, don't eat pork, don't eat whatever. It's a lot of stuff not bad for us that we eat. And you will see the difference in your body when you're not putting them in your body. <laughs> so it's a lot, you know, so, but it, it feels amazing. I can't even describe to you the energy. You would think you wouldn't have any energy, but you actually have energy. You go to the bathroom every day, regularly. Your Everything changes in your body when you're not putting that stuff in your body. So after those first couple of days and you detox from all of that stuff, man, you feel like amazing. <laughs> I ain't even finna lie, but I love meat. So when my fast is over, after them 21 days, yes, I go back to eat my meat because I love meat. You know, I'm more, I'm conscious of it. And that's why I do it throughout the year to give my body a break from all of that stuff. All of the sugar, all of the meat, all of the processed foods, the soda, whatever it is that I'm having throughout the year. Um, it's good to do a Daniel fast every couple of months because it gives your body a break. Our bodies need a break. We don't give it a break sometimes, but it needs a break. So, Brenda, I don't know about being on Food Network. That's up to the Lord, honey. I am seriously following the direction God has for my life. Even when it comes down to this cooking page, I have to give him everything. So even with cooking with Aisha, that's why I had to stop doing some things on this page, just as far as like addressing certain things, because this is all about what God wants to do. It's not about me like that. It's cooking with Aisha, but <clears throat> you know, I have to do what God leads me to do, honey. So whatever he want me to do, I'm going, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be here for me. I'm trying to be here for what God has for me to do so that when I leave here, I can go on to glory and hear well done thy good and thy faithful servant. Monica, no. Um, Are you a part of the old group? The one that I changed the name to group is closed because if you're in that group, that's not the group we're proceeding forward. The name should be uh, Weight Loss and Lifestyle Changes with Aisha and Friends. Oh, yes, Yvonne. So you already know. Thank you, Tasha. Hey, Calvin. Hey, Denise. That's right, Karen. The Bible says, seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So I have learned in my walk just to put God first and to seek him first. I don't always get it right, but I've gotten better. I've gotten a whole lot better. So because my faith is increasing in him and I just want him to lead me. Um... Andrea, I, I cook them, but I don't cook them, if that makes sense. I know how to cook them, but I don't even eat them no more. There's no reason. I'm just not a fan like that. But if somebody came over and said, hey, can you make me some chitlins? I would say, yes, I can. And I would probably eat a couple. <laughs> so it's, if that makes sense. So it's not like it's, you know, I just don't cook them because my kids don't care. And so <clears throat> it, I, when I did cook them before, they weren't even for me. Somebody asked me to cook them for them. So, but I have videos showing how to cook them at least one way. Thank you, Ivory. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Velma. Should know how to cook. Oh, thanks, Helen. Well, hopefully my page will help those that just need to know the basics. I'll get you started. I don't know if I can get you on Food Network because I ain't trying to get them myself. I don't do all that competition and all that because my heart is not in it. Um... Whatever I do, I want to do it from my heart and with my, you know, with my soul. You know, I want to put love into it. That's why I just cook. I don't want to go be in some competition to be the best cook in the world. Like, I don't care about any of that. I have a place uh, right where I am. You know, God made me special. He made you special. And you just have to know who created you 
and stand in that position. That's all you need. I don't have to go out competing with nobody because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So, <laughs> and why do something that you don't even care about? So, hope I'm gonna share. I'm gonna let you know how to get my cookbook. Yeah, Charlene, you should. You definitely should. Yolanda, the the weight loss group is closed right now. Thank you, Stephen. But it'll reopen. I, I do the group every couple of months. So I just can't tell you when just yet. Because I don't know when the Lord's going to have me do it. There is, but God is so good. He told me, he tells me when to do the groups. And then he provides the information. So it's like for me, I just, he says, go, I go. He gives me what to do. He gives me the topics. He, he just gives me what to do. That's all I can. That's the best way I can explain it. So whenever it's time, thank you, Jayon. Whenever it's time, I'll let you all know. But this group is going to be a blessing like all the others. But I'm just excited, y'all. I'm excited. Uh, Barbara, I'll post it how to get the cookbook. Thank you, Cruz. That is the person I am today. Amen, Kathy. You know, amen. And people just have to focus on ourselves. I can't judge nobody for what they do. I can encourage somebody, you know, with my experiences. But, you know, everybody's going to have their time to stand before God and give an account for their own life. I'm not going to give an account for you. You won't give an account for me. So I don't know why people just won't mind their business. <laughs> you know, pray for people and stay in your lane. So this is my lane. <laughs> And I pray for other people. If I don't agree with something that you do, it ain't for me to dwell on it. It ain't for me to go talk about you. It ain't for me to do any of that. I could go to the Lord and say, Lord, my sister is struggling in this area. Can you help her? And boom, I keep it moving. Unless God say otherwise. But <clears throat> I'm, I'm kind of the same. I give basics and I have a serious problem giving measurements. I hook on uh, everything, even fast food, friends. <laughs> I hear you, Andrea. I'm trusting him. Amen, Zarisha. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you, Andre. Amen, Kathy. William, I'm not doing it to lose weight. <laughs> I agree. I don't feel like I need to lose any more weight. I did gain a little weight, but not much. It was like six pounds, but I was actually trying because I went all the way down. I lost way more weight than I wanted to lose. Um, on my weight loss journey and then I didn't I got stuck I didn't know how to gain the weight back and then I was scared that I was gonna gain too much back so um thank you Melanie praise God so uh right now I'm just in the you know thank you Wendy amen Kathy that's right my pastor always say that some of us gonna be surprised about who get in heaven and who don't. See, we think because people do certain things or they don't go to church every Sunday or this or that, that they not going to heaven. You don't know who God gonna let in heaven. But I know one thing, I got my place reserved. I ain't worried about who else ain't going or who is going. It ain't my job to try to figure out who going and who ain't. You know, it's just not my job. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. It's not our job. It's not our job. It's our job to pray for people. We are to pray and to love. The Bible say the first commandment is to love the Lord, your, the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. The second commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. It ain't say nothing about judging folk. That ain't even in the Bible. And he definitely not going to say to judge them after the second commandment. Is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's not talking about just the person who lives next to you. That means if you're at the grocery store and you see somebody slip and fall, go help them. Don't just watch them. You know, we got we got to love people. You see somebody that need help, be, be of some help. Love them. Treat them how you want to be treated. You know, it's so simple. Life is really simple. We just make it complicated. <clears throat> it's simple when we follow God. It's complicated when we try to do it ourselves. I'm going to do me, as they say, do me. No, do God. Don't do you, do God. <laughs> and then it's going to be all right. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Praise God. Amen, Kathy. Oh, thank you, Aisha. Girl, it's Jesus. 
I tell people all the time, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus in me. It's Jesus. I can't take no credit because I am nothing. I am unworthy of the call. I just said, yes, it is Jesus, honey. It is simply Jesus. He gets all the glory. He gets all the honor and he gets all the praise out of my life. It is him. <laughs> we need him. We need to be covered under his blood. We need Jesus. Hey, D. Valentine. Hey, girl, you just, uh, did you just send me a message? I just talked to you in my, in my uh, inbox. <laughs> Some of y'all just be talking to all the time. <laughs> hey, Tawanza. Kimberly. Hey, Shirley. Shirley and Shirley. Shirley Dawson and Shirley Cole. Amen, Kathy. Oh, I'm sorry you lost your mom. Prayers to you. Condolences to you and your family. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Betty. Praise God, Nisi. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. Thanks, Shakita. It's him, y'all. Hey, Zarisha. <laughs> Amen, Kathy. Amen. Because it's all about him. It's all about him. We just got to get our focus right. We all are important to him. Oh, Andrea. <laughs> we all are important to him. We all have something that God wants us to do. We just got to tell him yes. That's all. Tell him yes and watch what he do in your life. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Watch what he do, honey. Because it's him. Everything that happened, it's him. It's him. I I'm just like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. It's him. That's why we got to be careful. The pastor was talking about how we got to be careful. We're not building a name for ourselves and building our own thing. This is all about God. And we have to really be careful when we get, when God gives us influence, that we stay focused on him. And don't start looking at, oh, look at me. I'm this, I'm that. No, that's why I stay humble on my page. I don't care when people say, it's this many people watching you. That's not even important. It's just not. I mean, not that people aren't important because all of y'all are important. But we can't focus on the numbers. We can't focus on, because then we get our focus. I'm here to do, a, I'm here for a purpose. <laughs> I love each and every one of y'all. But before all of this, I was still doing this. So we just got to stay focused and let God do what he needs to do <laughs> so that's that's the whole point stay focused just because you get so many followers don't get big-headed don't 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 go to the left or the right you got to stay focused you know because it's all about the kingdom of god and helping to expand the kingdom of god chastity i have not decided on my uh my cookbook costs and i need to <laughs> um i have 43 recipes in it and I want it to be affordable um, because that's what I'm about. I'm about budget. So I'm going to make it to where it's definitely going to be uh, budget friendly. And it's, you know, I know whatever I sell it for, it's going to be worth more. But it's it's not even all about that. God blesses me every day. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's just not all about money. You know, sometimes we focus on so many of the wrong things. So I'm just going to pray about it and see what the Lord want me to do. I mean, <laughs> he's the reason that I made the book. He helped me write that cookbook. He helped me write that cookbook. And I can't take that away because I didn't want to do it. I was not motivated. I didn't know how to start. There are many days that y'all don't know about that I didn't know how to start that cookbook. I didn't know how to start. I was frustrated with writing down measurements and it was so frustrating and then God a peace came over me and it's he gave me so if you need help with writing a book or a cookbook I'm telling you the peace of God came over me y'all one day and I sat down and I began to write my cookbook so peacefully so gracefully like God was just giving me how to do it and then he just taught me how to how to do it he taught me <laughs> he taught it to me through his holy spirit <sighs> My God, y'all just don't know. Y'all gotta make me cry up in here because he helped me. <laughs> so <laughs> obviously it was supposed to get done, but it took God to help me. I needed his help. 
you know, I needed his help and he helped me. Oh, <laughs> Roderick. <laughs> so, you know, God is good, y'all. He, he will help you in whatever you need him to help you do, honey. That's why I don't be afraid to step out and do your own cooking show. Yes, people going to have things to say. I know people talk about me sometimes, y'all, but I'm going to tell you something. My page is blessed by God because I follow him. So I don't get caught up on the negative things that people say. It does not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> people going to talk about you no matter what you do. If you on the corner shooting up a needle or hair on, people going to talk about you. If you're doing something where you, you love doing, people going to talk about you. So stop letting people, what they say, hold you back from what you need to be doing and what you love doing. I don't care what it is. People's opinions don't matter. <laughs> Only God's opinions matter. I know I'm not the best cook, but God chose me to be here. He chose to give my page favor. I never said I was the best. God did this. That's why I, that's why I took my hands off, honey. I said, okay, God, what you want me to do? Y'all think it's a game. I said, God, what you want me to cook? Do you want me to do this live? I know I need to go live more. I do. Because I do help people. <laughs> you know, that's God's purpose. He wants me to do this. God is good, y'all. He will help you. 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 And just don't worry about what people got to say. So what? Let them talk about you. The more they talk about you, the more God going to bless you. Watch. If you following God... The more people talk about you, the more God going to bless you. I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> Tell you what I know. Like the pastor was saying today, have courage, trust God, and keep it moving, honey. Life too short not to be doing what you love to do. I love what I do. I love what I do. Oh, I feel so blessed to be doing what I love to do. Not a day go by that I'd be like, oh, I hate my life. Every day is Friday at my house because I'm doing what I love. <laughs> I'm doing what I love every day. When I wake up, I ain't got to go punch no clock. I do what I want to do when I want to do. I love what I do. God opened that door and made a way for me to do what I love to do. So I don't care about what people got to say. Okay. But your words not going to hinder me. They're not going to stop me. They're not going to stop no show. They're not going to cause God to stop blessing me. <laughs> when God bless you and favor you, it don't matter what nobody got to say. That's their job. They just doing their job. Their job is to try to stop you, discourage you, hinder you. Because God got something better for you and they trying to keep you back. That's the enemy's job. And he has been succeeding in too many of your lives. It's time for you to just say, you know what? I'm rolling with Jesus, period. And you're going to be successful. You're going to succeed. You cannot fail in God because there is no failure in God. So once you link up with God and really give him a yes and serve him and walk with him, everything that you do is going to prosper. Everything that you put your hands to is going to prosper. Everything. Ideas that you had are going to produce so much wealth for you. All because you trusted God and said yes. And stop being afraid of what people are going to say. <sighs> Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, have mercy. I'm just trying to see if I missed anything. I know I probably missed a lot, y'all. I'm sorry. Amen, Cruz. Amen. Yeah, y'all, don't pay attention to the devil. The devil's supposed to be here. <laughs> mad. Ain't nobody mad but the devil, though. Hey. Gotta do my little dance on that. Ain't nobody mad but the devil, honey. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. <laughs> but, you know, I just, seriously, y'all, I bless God. And I'm going to always keep encouraging y'all the same way I've been doing to do what it is that you love to do. You know, none of us know the time we're going to exit about it is life. And you, 
God just wants you to have an abundant life. He wants you to have, uh, I'm not going to say happiness because happiness comes and goes, but contentment. Contentment is way better than happiness. Contentment, just being content that no matter what, no matter what, I still got the joy of the Lord. No matter what may come, I still got the joy of the Lord. Just being content. Mm. Thank you, Jesus, for your spirit. Whew. That's all you need. Once you get hooked up with what you, the only thing that you need, I always say people are great, but Jesus is the greatest. Woo. Thank you, God. Because there are things that people can't help me with. There are things that my children can't help me with. There are things that parents can't help you with. There are things that my friends can't answer for me. Sometimes you get in a place where the only one that can help you is God. That's why you're not finding the satisfaction. You're on the phone. You're trying to do. You're trying to go to the club. You lay up with that person. You do this. You do that. And there is no help because the help is in the Lord. Once you, once you find it, baby. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. Like Paul. I love Paul. Paul is my favorite in the Bible. I love how God always used jacked up people to cause his will to be done. You see how everybody was jacked up in the Bible, wasn't it? <laughs> he used everybody that was jacked up. Well, Mary wasn't jacked up. And who else was it, y'all? Was it Noah? Noah? Was, I think Noah was jacked up too. Well, Moses was a murderer. David was an adulterer. I mean, come on. He used everybody that was jacked up. Paul, when he was Saul, was killing the Christians. I mean, whew, it's amazing how the power of God can change your life. And I think he did this to let everybody know that no matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, I will still take you and change your life to glorify my name. No matter where you've been. I don't care how many drugs you smoked. I don't care how many people you didn't slept with. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you didn't did. But he, he take them people. He take them people that's in low places and sit them somewhere on high. Because I was sure that nobody that didn't nobody think nothing was going to ever be nothing. Drug addict mother, alcoholic father. I know they thought I was. They just... Whew, Wrote me off. You ain't going to be nothing. I know they did. And God was like, oh no, I got a purpose for this one. Yeah. God is so good, y'all. <laughs> That's why I say he came for the jacked up people. I was one of them jacked up people. I was. I used to be jacked up. And I ain't perfect. But baby, I didn't, the, the Lord has bought me a mighty long way. And I got a track record to prove it. He has brought me a mighty long way and I bless his holy name because it was only him. Only Jesus could have changed me. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to tell you what I know. So, oh no. I'm sorry to hear that, Shalina. But praise God. So be encouraged today, y'all. God is good. We got to love people, y'all. Just like the young lady that was in here saying what she was saying. She needs the love of Christ. Only people who, are, who don't have the love of Christ do negative and evil things. So pray for people. Love on them. Stop, stop clapping back at people. I know it's easy. I know it, it feels good. But we got to learn how to love people, y'all. People need our love. They need our grace. And they need our mercy. If we say we love Jesus, if we say we love him and we live in him, then we have to act like him and reflect him. No matter how our flesh feel, because sometime in the flesh, I be wanting to be like, what? But I can't let the flesh overpower my spirit, man. Mm. Praise God. I don't know why I can't get off here. I'm supposed to be leaving. I was supposed to leave a long time ago. <laughs> I was supposed to leave a long time ago. But God is just so good to me. And this and this is this is one of the reasons why I'm still single. Because I love to talk about Jesus. I promise you. And people act like they love Jesus. Then, you know, you start talking to them. They're like, oh, no. Nah, they don't really want Jesus. They trying to get to me. Mm -mm. I really love the Lord. I could talk about him all day long. It does not get boring for me. Because that is my life. This is me. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> So God is, I just love him. I just love him. I just love him. I'm telling you, I love him. 
And I, when I say I love y'all, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate y'all taking your time. There's other people on the internet y'all can watch. So I appreciate you being here. You know, may the will of God be done. I, that's my prayer. Whenever people watch me or whatever, may the will of God be done. May his will be done. May his will be done. That's what it's all about. So pray for me as I go forward. Pray for me that that I follow God and keep following God. Just pray for me because that's all I care about. Amen, Betty. I will pray for you. I pray, I pray for my followers in general because God knows who you are individually. And when I say I pray, I pray. You know, I want y'all to have peace and prosperity and good health. You know, that's important because it's important in your lives. That stuff is important. I pray for marriages. I want y'all marriages to be good, you know. So just definitely keep me in your prayers. Bye, Jane. It's okay. I, my, uh, I'm waiting on the... I'm waiting on nothing. I was sitting here... Okay, so I haven't been on here as long as I thought. I just, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't plan on being on here like this. Y'all know normally I will cut out in a, in a minute when I do my lives. I normally don't stay on here. So it's not, this was definitely not intentional. Y'all know I normally don't. <laughs> but praise God anyway. I guess the Lord wanted me to say something for somebody to hear. So... No, Amy, I don't want no religious dating site. No, <laughs> I'm believing God to allow my husband to find me in a different way. Um, nothing against the dating sites. Um, and I'm going to tell you, at one point I did make an account on one of the dating sites. And I got off like the next day. And I'm going to tell you why. It's overwhelming. It's too many people trying to talk to you at one time. And I don't like, I don't like that overwhelming feeling. Hey, what's your name? Where you from? What you'd like to do? Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh my God, you know, that's too much for me. That's too much for me. So I don't prefer the dating apps for that reason. So nothing against those who do the dating sites. Yes, I will pray for you, John Trina. Amen, Joy. You too, Shannon. Amen, Tania. You know, hurt is at the root. Hurt and pain is at the root of every uh, negative person. And keep that in mind. Once you, when you allow God to change your perspective, you respond to people differently. You know, because when we're hurting and in pain, it makes us act a certain way. It does. So, just remember that. So, when people are being a certain way toward you, pray for them. You know, pray for them for real, like, and really pray for them. Don't just be like, oh, bless them, God. No, that's not, <laughs> you know, you just have to let, and, and the, the spirit of God will help you with that. It, it takes some practice, trust me, because, honey, I used to be like, uh-uh, I ain't praying. It was somebody God wanted me to pray for. Y'all ain't going to lie. They did me so dirty. They did me so wrong. I'm trying to tell you. And the, oh, God wanted me to pray for your enemies, y'all. I was, it was so hard for me. At that time. And I remember just saying, God, help my heart. I don't want to pray for this person. And I can honestly say that was probably about a year ago. Year and a half. Year. Whatever. But now I pray for that person. You know, but it took it took some time. You know, when people do you wrong, honey, it ain't easy. <laughs> it, thank you, Betty. That's what I was just saying. I'm just keeping it 100. And God knows that. But that's why we have to ask him for his help. We can't just... Ask him to help you. He'll help you. Oh, Shante. I know that I know the feeling of heartbreak too. I love the man with all ooh, with everything. Never loved another like that. And he broke my heart. It took me a long time to get over that one. A long time. But I bless God because there's something about in our brokenness. That's when God is so close to us y'all when our hearts are broken oh mm. he's right there so if you broken hearted honey it's like you can reach out and touch him talk to him talk to him <laughs> 
Oh no, Cruz, we gotta pray for your son too. Everything gonna be all right. We gotta pray for our loved ones and our families. Hey, sweetie pie. That's a lot of y'all. <laughs> Vanessa, we're doing a Daniel's fast. Thank you, JF. I'm going to get off of here. I hope that there was something that I said that encouraged somebody. I know normally I don't stay on here uh, like this, but uh, I really, it's like I said, whatever, whatever, Lord, we have to let him lead us. You know, sometimes our agenda is not his agenda. <laughs> so um, I will continue to keep y'all in prayer and y'all continue to pray for me too. Continue to pray for me too. I see you, Jay. Because I need it just like everybody else. I need prayer just like everybody else. But I'm telling you, God is with us. And if you invite him in, man, and people recognize the spirit of God in you, they'll see that you have it. We need it. Not just for ourselves. God gives us things in us to help other people. I'm telling you, let God use you. Let God use you. Okay? So keep me in prayer. I ain't leaving Jesus. Now, one thing I ain't going to do, you ain't got to pray that I don't turn back because I ain't turning back. <laughs> My mind is made up. But I definitely want to continue to just <sighs> let God have his way. No hindrances, no distractions. All right. There's my cue. There's a llama. I love y'all. I'll see y'all after a while in about another couple of hours to I, so I can show you all the finished product of the oxtails. Thank you. Y'all like my family. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. All right. See y'all soon, Alana. I see you, Jay.